Hi, welcome to 90% Knitting. My name is Lisa, um, also known as Fiber Nymph on Ravelry Plurk and Instagram. And this is not a normal episode. This is in um, a podcast supplement for the sake of doing a preview of everything that's going to go up into the shop on Sunday, this coming Sunday, the 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, when I recorded my last regular episode. So if you're looking for a regular episode, if you're new and you want to see a real episode, um, check out the last one. That was episode 167, I believe. That was the last one. But at that point, that was on Sunday when I recorded last Sunday. Um, but I did not have any of the shop update stuff that's going in this coming Sunday to show you yet. So that is why I am just doing this short um, shop update preview episode um, so that I can show you what will be in the shop and I will be photographing everything and putting it in the shop in preview mode um, later today and tomorrow so definitely by the end of tomorrow everything should be up um, but just a little housekeeping thing here I think obviously if you've watched the podcast before you realize there's a different background and that is, there's a good reason I'm in a different room this is my dining room um, if you've watched the podcast the last couple of episodes you know that I rearranged my office recently and the new configuration works beautifully for everything else except recording because now my ceiling light my overhead light is directly overhead of where I sit when I record and the lighting is horrible even when I have extra lamps it's just I, I can't get it right um, so I thought okay since this is just a short little episode today I would try something new and that is what I'm doing I originally thought I would try my living room which is over that way um, I have nice big windows in the front of my living room however my porch overhangs that and so other other than like first thing in the morning when the sun's out and coming in from the east or the southeast because um, that's a south facing wall it's not really all that bright um, and on a rainy gray day like we're having today it's definitely not bright and even if I turned all the lamps in that room on it would not have been a good place to record. So my dining room is actually my brightest room in general because this is my north facing wall over here and there's a nice big window there as well. So I thought, okay, we'll go in here. Um, I've been playing with this probably for an hour now trying to get lighting <laughs> as good as I can. I've got my dining room overhead light on, my kitchen overhead light on, my kitchen's directly in front of me. And then I have lamps on either side of me. I think it's working because I've played with settings and I'm seeing like really weird, like jet, jolty kind of movement things on the, I don't know if that's gonna be in the recording or not. I hope not. I'll try not to move real fast. <laughs> um, anyway, the color, however, looks very, very true on my screen. And that's what's most important at this point. Um, so let's hope that that's how it translates as I do as I process the video and everything and hopefully it'll stay that way. Um, the other thing that is different is I'm recording on my laptop obviously not my desktop which I'm usually on. Um, I'm still using my little webcam, my Logitech webcam. I've never used the video software that is on this laptop before. It's a Dell. I've had it for about four years. I'll never have a Dell again. Don't even get me started there. Um, but I've never used this website or this this video. Um, I don't know. I've never used it before. <laughs> I'm just hoping it's working so that by the time I get done with all of this, I can actually have a video that I can take in and put on my desktop, which is where my editing software is. I'm sure there's probably editing software on here too, but you know what? I don't have time to figure that out. I just want to get this video up. Um, anyway, the only thing I cannot find on this software is an autofocus feature. It, there does not seem to be one. There's another, there's like a face tracking feature, which is not at all what we want. Believe me, I've played with it. I can't find an autofocus. So as I'm holding up yarn, I'm really not going to be able to hold it right in front of the camera like I normally do because it'll just sort of be blurry. So I'm going to hold it back a little bit, but hopefully at least since the lighting is okay and the color seems to be coming out true, hopefully you'll at least be able to get a good 
view of it. And like I said, I will be photographing everything and putting it up in the shop in preview mode later today and tomorrow. And those pictures will definitely be true and you'll be able to see everything well. This is a work in progress. So please just be patient with me as I try to figure out where is going to be best to record from now on because right now my office is not an option. But um, at least here you have a whole new thing to look at in the background. Check it out. You've got my, it's a bookcase really, but I use it as a china cabinet. Um, so there's my china cabinet. And over here we have another little bookcase. And you have my squash because I was grocery shopping yesterday. So I've got some squashes and there's an avocado. Um, <laughs> and this pretty little wall hanging quilt that's back here. I did not make this. I just want to let you know because I know we have a lot of people who quilt and sew and everything. Um, I bought that at a fundraising event many, many years ago. And for a long, long time, I didn't have anywhere to put it. It's, it was actually just folded up in a drawer. And then um, about two years ago when my old dining room furniture went bye-bye with my ex um, and I got my new dining room table and chairs and then I bought these bookcases for my china and everything, um, I had this open spot here and I thought, perfect. And I've had that hanging there ever since and I love it because it's so bright and cheerful and it makes me happy every time I look at it. So. Anyway, <laughs> that's just a little explanation of where I'm sitting. Who knows where I'll be next time I record. Um, I know it's not the same, not having the yellow walls and the sunflower picture and all the yarn behind me, but I would rather have a good image for you to be able to see a good clear image than background that it might be nice, but it's not really showing off the stuff I'm trying to show off. So, okay, <laughs> five, six minutes in and I haven't shown you any yarn. Let's get to the yarn that's going to be in the update. Again, the shop update will be this coming Sunday, which is July 12th, and it'll be at 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay, a lot of the things that I'm going to show you, well, not, several, um, are things that I was dying for pre-orders um, or special orders for other people uh, who had ordered them <laughs> ahead of time. That's what a pre-order is, special order. Um, the inversibles, I'm going to show you a bunch of inversibles. If you're somebody who ordered these inversibles and you're panicking because I'm saying, oh, these are going to be in the shop, please don't worry. Yours are sitting in my office, and as soon as I'm done recording, I'm going in there to package everything up and ship it, and you'll be getting a shipping notice later today. I promise. Um, I just wanted to show the extras because I'm putting the extras in the shop since I dye inversibles in sets of four, like, yeah, four. So there's always extras unless, like, a lot of people order the same color at the same time. So let's start with the inversibles. There will be some red and black. I know that's sort of looking blue, but trust me, it's black. Again, I think part of the problem is that since this is a window, even though I have lamps, um, you're getting that blue light from the natural light. So anyway, red and black. And then there is some red and silver. If I hold it back, you can see the silver a little bit better. And I know that red's looking a little orange. It's not like that in real life, I promise. It's a scarlet, it's pretty. Um, and then there is some purple and silver gray. See, it will not autofocus, and I don't want to get it too close because then the lighting goes bad too. So, purple and silver gray, pink and green. These are light. And then, um, actually the purple and silver, that's a color combination I've never had in the shop before, I don't think. That was one that somebody specially requested, as are these last two. At least I don't think I've ever done these just for the shop before. Um, some pink and yellow. <laughs> and lastly, some green and brown. This is my hunter green and dark brown. So that's a nice manly color combination, isn't it? Very woodsman-y. <laughs> Okay, so there will be, um, I know there will be three sets of each of these. Some of these, um, some there may only be two, because I can't remember. Some of them were ordered by more than one person. So those are the inversibles that will be going in the shop. The other thing that is an extra from a pre-order, remember, I think it was the end of May, I did the... Um, 
the pre-orders for Advance to Go. Well, I have one skein of that left from that batch that I did for all the pre-orders. Those pre-orders are also being mailed out today. So if you're waiting, you'll be getting it soon. So there's one um, Advance to Go on the Bedazzled base. Does the sparkly show up nice in this light, huh? And that is a very, very true picture of those colors. So. Okay. Now, what else do I have? There's sort of just a little mishmash of things, actually. Um, this was a new colorway in the last update, and it went over super well. So I dyed up more of it, and the lighting's going to be weird with it. This is Miami Vice. I did two skeins, two more skeins on Bounce, and then there are two skeins on Bedazzled. So... I love this colorway. These are really, really not my colors, but I love this color combination. It's just so much fun. And if you're an 80s kid, you probably enjoy that. Um, I did up some TARDIS. I haven't done TARDIS in a little while, so there's TARDIS. That blue is turning out a little brighter on the camera than it really is. Well, here, back here it's not. Um, so this is TARDIS. I believe there's two skeins of it on Bounce. I did, um, I had a special order for the Colors of Happiness, so I have some extras of that because I dyed up some extras. Uh, I believe there's three, and I believe they are all on Bounce as well. So, Colors of Happiness. This is um, an eight striper that has been quite popular since I came out with it. I really wish I could do these eight, seven and eight stripers more frequently. They just take up a lot of time, <laughs> so I can't get them out as quickly as I'd like to. Um, this set, this is actually one of my autumn colorways and I was just kind of feeling autumnal this week when I was dying because the rain, again, the rain, oh my gosh. Um, it's making everything feel like fall some days. So I did, this was one of my new autumn colorways last year, it's called Autumn Rustic. So I did a couple skeins of it up on Bedazzled. I like it on Bedazzled because it reminds me of um, the colorful fall leaves on a morning when there's been frost and everything has that little coat of just sparkly frost on it, you know. So anyway, there will be a couple skeins of that. And lastly, there will be two skeins of gunmetal on Heavenly. This is the only colorway I have on my MCN base this week. So that's gunmetal. And I also happen to have two skeins of it on Cozy, which is my worsted weight base. I did inventory this week. I do this every so often just to make sure what's on the website, the shop website, jives with what I've got in my inventory shelves. These two skeins have been sitting on my shelves for quite a while, and they never made it into the shop inventory. I don't know why. So anyway, <laughs> there's gunmetal in cozy as well as in um, heavenly fingering and worsted weight. Um, let's see. Also on worsted weight, <laughs> this is Bumblebee. Um, I have two skeins of it. Um, it was uh, it was dyed for an order that turned out to be the wrong order. Long story. At any rate, I ended up with two skeins of Bumblebee, so I'm just putting those in the shop too, and they're also on cozy. A lot of people like this as a Steelers colorway, so if you're into the Steelers, this is a good gold, black and yellow colorway for that. My last two colorways I have on um, Traveler, the sport base, and there will be two each of these. Um, this is Dark Fire and Magic Carpet. This has been another one that's been super popular um, since I introduced it a few weeks ago. So, two of each of those. The only other things that will be in the shop, I will have some mini skein sets, um, self-striping mini skein sets. They will all, there's going to be, I believe, five of them. Four or five, I'm sorry, I can't remember now. Um, they will all have these four colorways in them. This is, it isn't, um, it isn't easy being green. This is Sunburned Zebra. This is Bollywood. And this is Primordial C. The fifth, they will all have a fifth skein in with them, which will be a mystery skein. So you're just going to get surprised. It will be a self-striping skein, um, but you won't know what it's going to be until you get it. And they will all probably be different, or there will at least be only, you know, there'll be a couple different ones depending on the package. You just won't know what one you're getting until you get 
your whole set. So you will get five. These are 20 gram skeins, so approximately 80 yards each. Um, these are on my bounce base. The mystery skein, however, could be on my bounce base or it could be on Bedazzled. Just letting you know that. And that will all be in the listing. Um, but anyway, you'll be getting five mini skeins altogether. The only other thing that's going in the shop this week is fiber. I promised you fiber, more fiber. Um, again, I know you're probably getting tired of hearing me say this, but the rain, the rain here has not let up. We have like a day or two where it maybe doesn't rain the whole time or it rains overnight, but we have had so much rain. My basement has never been as damp as it is now, and I dry my stuff in my basement. And the fiber is just not ready for me to bring up here and show you right now. So there will be fiber um, Polworth silk, and there will be um, the mixed BFL, which is kind of the darker swirl kind of BFL. Um, there will be two colorways. There will be yeah, two colorways, two braids each of two colorways on each of those two bases. I was also going to try to do some mulberry silk, but when I realized how long it was taking for everything to dry, there was just no way. I could do that. Uh, it would still be, it would be drying next week, I think. So, well, I don't know what it is about silk. Silk seems like it takes forever to dry. And I am in the middle of trying to finish, well, I'm not in the middle, I'm towards the end, but I'm trying to finish up a huge wholesale order that has a lot of my um, Elegance lace weight base, which is a silk blend. And even though it's just 20% silk, it is taking so long to dry. I had to let my wholesale customer know that her order was gonna be running a little bit late. I explained the weather I could not do anything, and she's been very, very kind about it. Um, I just hate being late on things like that, but this is totally out of my control because it is taking literally an extra day to dry everything. Um, whereas most things dry overnight, everything is taking at least two days to be dry enough to wind up into a hank or a ball, like if it's a gradient or whatever, um, to be able to package it. I just, cause I don't want to ship out damp yarn. That would be horrible. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so ready for this rain to end. I've been emptying my dehumidifier twice a day and I could probably do it a third time a day if I caught it, but it usually goes off like in the middle of the night or something. And I, you know, I don't get to it then. Um, I've got fans running in my basement all the time. Everything down there just smells not like bad, like mildewy or anything, but it just smells damp, you know? Every, actually, not even just in the basement. Everything. Go outside, even when it's not raining, and it smells damp. Um, everybody around here is talking about it, every, complaining about it. Everybody's like ready to just scream. There are people who have never had flooded basements or water in their basements before who are getting water in their basements this year. The, the water tables are just so high after all the rain. And I would say it's been the last six weeks. We have had maybe, I don't know how many days we've had where it hasn't rained at all. It can't be more than like two or three. It's just incredible. This has been the wettest summer I remember in a very, very, very long time. And some days it's like super hot and rainy. And then there's days like today where it feels like fall. I don't even think it's made it out of the 60s today. What was it? It was 69. Oh yeah, it's 64. It's 64 and rainy. Actually now it's just sort of misty. It's like a mist coming down. I'm waiting for the gorillas to show up any moment. Anyway, all right, I'm going to quit babbling about the weather. Um, thank you for tuning into this shop update. I really hope this video works out. Like I said, it's doing some strange jumpy things on my screen. I'm not sure if that's going to come across once it's processed. Um, I'm hoping that the sound and the video is lined up because I've never had issues with that before. But like I said, this is a different software than I usually use, so I don't know what to expect. Um, crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. So anyway, that's it. Um, I will do a regular episode probably early next week. I've got some things to show you that I'm really excited about. So <laughs> anyway, but I didn't want to do that again today because it's too close to when I recorded last time. Alrighty, that's it. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, and again, the shop update will be on Sunday uh, the 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern. So see you later. Bye.